Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to show you what I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome, so stick around. So I recently received my order from Vinegar Syndrome. I wanted to take time today to um, open this up and show you what I picked up. I do not remember, I don't think I remember hardly anything that I got. There are several titles in the box, so we'll just go over them one by one. Um, as I always do with the Vinegar Syndrome cell, a lot of this is based off of recommendations and a lot of research to make sure that I get some good titles that I would care about. Sometimes it's hit or miss though because um, sometimes you just never know what you're going to get. I do watch the trailers. I do read up on the things that I'm interested in. So hopefully I will be happy with these titles. Maybe you can help me out by letting me know what you think about some of these. So first up, I have Out of Order with a slip cover. So all of these are based off of getting a slip, of course. That's the first thing that draws my attention. Um, but I have no idea about this one. Out of Order. So definitely looking forward to seeing what that's all about. Then I got Don't Answer the Phone. Another one that I've heard about, but never picked up. Um, another thing that I do with these recommendations is the fact to see how low the numbers are to make sure that if it's something that's going to go out of print, that usually drives me more toward getting it. I got Televised Terror, Volume 1. I really enjoy made-for-TV movies, and so I really wanted to get this one. It's a nice little box set. Um, and I've been looking at this for ever since it got released and just never did pull the trigger. This one is not going out of print anytime soon, but I went ahead and got this one. I believe there was maybe another one announced. Maybe it's why I decided to get this one. But yeah, it looks very interesting. Like I said, I do like made for TV movies and this looks like something that I would enjoy. So I got this really nice box set. And then I got the Boogeyman. Not very familiar with this one. Maybe it, maybe it was having some low numbers. That's why I got it, but it's a 4K release. So I picked it up. I got the Pied Piper. Really interesting artwork. Really, really like the artwork on the slipcover. Um, so, very happy. I think this right here will be a good one. I do enjoy the um, the documentaries that they release. Um, so I got Fake It So Real. Interesting slipcover. I did watch the trailer for this. This looks like something that I would enjoy seeing. And then I got X-Ray. And Schizoid Double Pack. This one right here is a 4K release. Must must have had low numbers or something for me to get it. I'm not sure exactly why. Um, then I also got Falcon Lake, which goes like this, I guess. I don't know. This slip cover is weird. I guess it goes like that. Falcon Lake. I guess it's a reflection in the water. Um, not very familiar with this one. This is a Yellow Veil release. I got Full Time. Interesting slip. I do remember watching the trailer for this one. This lady runs herself ragged, working, I guess trying to take care of her family. So I picked it up. And then I got the Harbinger. I don't know, this looks like one of those horror titles. Um, so that should be really interesting. I do remember seeing the trailer for this, and this did look like it was going to be good. So I got it. I got the hole in the fence with this interesting artwork. They described it to be like, um, oh, what's the name of that movie? Um, where the kids fight against each other forget the name of the movie all of a sudden. Um, so I picked it up. What is the name of that movie? I'll put it up on the screen if I can think of it. Okay, and then I got my second box that came in. Um, I got a few more titles in this one. 
And I do know that this right here, I, I think I did four orders. So they shipped them in two separate packages. So another stack here and we'll see what I got. So first up we have adjuster tracking, the documentary. I love the slip cover on this one. I was a big VHS collector. Uh, remember buying my first VCR back in the late 80s, spending a fortune for it. Um, we have, and then let me just show you, so um, different kind of artwork on this one. So really happy to have that one. Then we have Dirty Money. This is another one that I wanted to get. Looked like a pretty interesting trailer, same artwork. And then I've got The Incredible Melting Man. Another one that I heard some good things about. Not very familiar with it. It is a 4K release, the same artwork on the, um, um, the case. And then I got Hot Snake with a slip and Guns and Guts. So I guess it's a double pack. Yes. So happy to have the Western in the collection. And then they did send me um, a booklet for Showgirls. So I'm not sure why they did that unless they left some out of the previous order. And I also got a replacement disc for Showgirls. I guess they had issues previously maybe with some... I don't even remember what the issues were, but they did send out the replacement disc. I didn't have to do anything for that. But those are the titles that I picked up from Vinegar Syndrome. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these titles that I picked up. If you know anything about them and what you would recommend, what you think I would like, because um, I really do appreciate your comments and recommendations. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.